Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 3.7, third question, playing with numbers of class 6. The question is, the length, breadth and height of room are 285 cm, 675 cm and 450 cm respectively. Find the longest tape which can measure the three dimension room exactly. So we have to find out the tape which can measure exactly uh, like a... Uh, um, and we want the longest tape, not the, the smallest tape. And without any remained, remi remainder, we should find out uh, a measurement of the longest scale, which can completely divide all these three number. In general, if you read the question carefully, this is a small hint given here. So that is the longest tape. Means we want to find out the highest number, highest common factor, which can divide all these three number so that we can able to measure the all the three rooms exactly see exactly means what exactly means there should not be any remainder left exact should exactly divisible kind of thing so that is only possible by finding the highest common factor so here we're going to find out the highest common factor of three given number so they have given length is equal to 825 centimeter and breadth is equal to 675 centimeter and height is equal to 450 centimeter so we're going to find out the highest common factor so we're going to use a division method here a division method we're going to divide given number with the prime numbers prime factors we can say and then later we're going to take the common prime factors from each so first number is 825 now 825 is an odd number we're going to start dividing with the 3. So 3, 2 is our 6, 2 is left, that is number 22, 3 7 is 21, 1 is left, so 3 5 is 15. We're going to take again, um, it doesn't go in 3 tables, we're going to take 5. So 5, 5 is 25, 2 is left, so 25. So 5 5 is 25 again. Again we'll take 5. 5 11 is a 55. 11 is a prime number, so 11 ones are 11. It doesn't go in any other table except 11. Next, we have 675. So I'm going to start with uh, 3. So 3 2s are 6. We have 7, so 3 2s are 6 again. 1 is a remainder. 3 5 is a 15. So 225 again goes in 3 table. 3 7s are 21. 1 is left. So 3 5s are 15. 75 so 3 again 3 3 2s are 6 1 is left 3 5s are 15 so 25 it goes in 5 table 5 5s are 25 and again 5 1s are 5 now here we have 450 remember we are taking only prime numbers when you don't get we were doing a prime factorization here so 450 goes in 2 table because we have a 0 at the end so 2 2s are 4 2 2s are 4 1 is left so 2 5s are 10 you can divide the number if you're not understanding how I'm doing it. Instead of doing a division and writing it, I'm just using a short way. It's like equal to division only, but I'm doing it in a short way. That's it. So 225, you can see here, 225 and 225. So you can directly copy from here to here. In case if you want to copy, you can copy directly or you can divide. Okay. So here the next comes 3. I'm going to just copy from here because we have just done it a few minutes back so 3 into 25 and then 5 into 5 all right so once we have done this let us write all the common factors like let us write down the spring factors so 825 can be expressed as 3 into 5 into 5 into 11 so 3 into 5 into 5 into 11 the next we have is 675 which can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 so 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 next 450 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 so 450 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 now once we have reached here, how to find out the highest common factor? So highest common factor, so common factor you have to find out here. So the prime factor which is present in all the three. So HCF will be 
see first let me mark it for this three there is one three here and one three here yeah it is like forming a group it should present in all the three so from here I'll pick one three okay from this group or from this pairing it's not exactly a pair it's like forming a set now there's a five here there's a five here there's a five here it's present in all the three so I'm gonna take one five from here also okay from here from I hope it's clear I'm just making a designs here okay now there's a one more five you can see here for this five and for this five and the for this five I can take one more five all right that's it now remember now you can see that there's a three present here there's a three present here I can take one three no it should present in all the three the prime factor should present in all the three so it's still present in problem f we have four here. by five and uh, two by three again denominators are different we're going to take the lcm of uh, four five and three which will be 15 so let me write on the question first it's a four by five plus a two by three so we'll take lcm of five and three which will be 15 so lcm of five and three is equal to 15 now for the first number which is 4 by 5 so with 5 what we should multiply to get 15